Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about a beauty skincare product that I have been using for quite a while now and I truly am extremely excited about it because they are actually really really, really good. This is the Beauty of Tresson and I bought this from Althea. They, I think, from what I searched just now, I think they're still available because it's not a brand that most people will gravitate towards in Malaysia specifically because it's not a brand that's heavily being advertised like uh, some other brands are basically. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's also not a brand that I think you can buy through this counter, over the counter in Malaysia. I think if you want to buy this, it has to be through online resellers, for example, like Hermo or Althea specifically, I'll, I'll, I'll suggest you to buy from Althea because I personally trust Althea. They're pretty good, like, I would say, when it comes to like shipping and also um, pricing-wise, it's actually very, very reasonable. So I highly recommend Althea if you guys are interested to buy anything from Korea. They're also authentic, so you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, so going back to this beauty address, I actually bought this quite a while ago. And um, I was using my Altia points to actually buy this Beauty of Joseon moisturizer. So this one is actually said to be like a moisturizer, but they kind of do say that you can use it in a lot of other ways. For example, you can actually use it like a night mask, sleeping night mask, or you can also mix with your foundation to give you more like a glow if you want. Like if it's really dry out there, you can actually use this. But I mean, obviously in Malaysia, we generally don't get dry weathers we get very humid and hot weather in general i believe this one is being made specifically for the korean women obviously so the korean weather obviously there's four seasons during like the autumn and winter time usually it gets really really dry there so that's why they say that you can actually mix this with a foundation to get like a, a more moisturized kind of uh I guess foundation look if you want to and I think this one you can also let me double check this one also you can use it as like a massage cream and yes this one it has that kind of like um, the resistance is not that basically it has a kind of glide where you can actually use this to kind of massage your face for probably about like five minutes or something like that or even less than that okay but you don't really massage your face more than five minutes in general but yeah you can actually use it as like a massage cream also and it's it's perfectly amazing and fine to use this as any of the method that I mentioned earlier on. This one it says to be made with the beauty of traditional Korean women in mind. That's, that's what I mentioned earlier on. And it has like ingredients such as like honey, orchids and ginseng. I believe it has more of like a traditional kind of um, feel to it. Like that's why they use ginseng and that's why they use like orchid and honey. It's very stuff that you know easily available back then so they can actually use it to put into their like beauty skincare routine or beauty kind of uh, uh, I guess beauty products back then talking about ingredients I would have to say that their ingredients this is not 100% the best like it's not like the greatest kind of skincare where it's all natural and stuff like that it still have alcohol in it so if you're sensitive to alcohol you probably want to stay away from this and it has also this one thing fragrance but it's at like the like the lowest of lowest like it's like the, it's the last ingredient in here if you are sensitive to this fragrance as well just don't use this okay but i have to say the fragrance wise it's not really very strong at all like it's almost non-existent like it smells very um like very natural it smells natural but it, it, there's almost there's no fragrance i don't know what fragrance do they add in that it's just written fragrance it's unfortunate but i really don't smell too much of a fragrance if anything it smells more like of a blend of ginseng orchid and honey basically yeah it smells very heavy of like ginseng and honey specifically and just a slight hint of floral which most probably is from the orchid itself um for me what i really really like about this is that cream itself it's very unique it's like a very very like elastic texture to the cream it's not super thick but it's not super like watery as well so it's perfect for me because i have dry skin but sometimes you just don't want something that's too thick on your skin as well because sometimes when it's too thick and it's too heavy it feels like it's clogging your skin but this one it's just somewhere in between and the elasticity apparently it helps to kind of repair your skin and kind of keep your skin firm basically um the first time that i actually saw this kind of um, texture uh is with the beauty makers uh foundation 
and it has exactly the same kind of texture where it kind of stretches it's so unique this kind of cream to me i, I still feel that it's super unique and um, this kind of texture i would say it's amazing amazing for dry skin people if you're oily skin type i really don't think this is for you but overall this is an amazing amazing product for those dry skin people out there you should really try this out i've been using this for about a couple of months now and i am pretty much almost halfway there already and this is really not a huge bottle it's only 50 ml but i think it's sold on althea for about 70 over ringgit it's a bit pricey i would say when it comes to like korean skincare i have to say surprisingly this wasn't something that i thought that i would like 100% enjoy but after watching like a couple of like youtube videos they actually mentioned that this is great for people like dry skin so i was like okay a little bit more confident over it and um i think this wasn't really my first choice i wanted to go for like Pyeong kang and i did i actually bought one bottle of Pyeong kang the Pyeong kang oh my gosh that is so hard to say but i actually did bought one bottle of Pyeong kang the very famous like serum or toner water kind of thing and it didn't it turned out it didn't really work for me and I was really a bit disappointed on that but while I was researching on Pyong Kang Yu, this came about and that's where I felt like you know what since Althea has it and I do have points that I want to use why not just try this out plus I feel the packaging is actually pretty luxurious it comes with like a very frosted glass bottle it's really weighty so it's definitely not something that you want to travel with the packaging itself it there's really no box or anything it comes with like just a like a paper thing on top here and it ties over it and it just looks really nice like it looks very like traditional kind of thing but i kind of threw away the paper already it's been like quite a while already for me this one i use it if i'm not like trying out other skincare products i definitely gravitate towards this a lot like when this is on my vanity desk this is pretty much most of the time what i use generally i kind of use like two of my fingers and just scoop it out and just rub it up uh, between my palms and you know apply it on my face i don't really generally do massage too much but i do the padding motion because apparently that has been like proven that it helps with like blood circulation and which obviously because you're kind of massaging your face right so i tap my face and really kind of like slap it <laughs> so so that to kind of promote blood circulation and to kind of keep my skin a little bit more youthful i use this with my laneige um cream skin cream skin refiner mist and i absolutely love this two combination when put this together they are just one of the best combination that i use during the nighttime specifically during the daytime i could just either go away with just laneige cream skin or if i feel like that day itself i i'm not gonna use a lot of makeup um then i would probably apply a little bit of this i wouldn't use a lot during the daytime because the weather in Malaysia, it's, it's not necessary to use so much of this. It's not very heavy, it has a very lightweight texture. You apply it on your face, it does leave that kind of layer on the face. So if you don't like that kind of feeling, that kind of moisture layer on the face, if you don't like that kind of feeling, you probably should avoid this as well. If you use a little bit, it leaves this uh, very thin layer. But I think after a while, it kind of just goes away. But if you use like maybe two finger and you just dip it, dip it into it and scoop it out then probably it will leave a thicker layer which is more suitable for the night time and that's what my preference is yeah during daytime i just use just a hint because i generally use sunscreen as well and sunscreen itself my sunscreen most of the time have that little bit of that um like grease to it even though it's not greased but it's more of like the moisturizing feeling as well so i don't want to have too much of moisturizing thing layer over like layer upon each other so i usually try to keep it as minimal as possible with this if i use it during the time if i really really need it that's only if i really really need it personally i really highly recommend this this is definitely one of a uh, very underrated products i would say I, I would believe it's also because of the price that's why it's a little bit underrated because people you know it's 70 something i mean it's definitely hard for you to kind of want to invest in something in a skincare product that you don't even know if it's going to work for your skin or not so yeah but for me i just have to say that if you have dry skin and you don't mind that slight like slight uh, layer on the face this is definitely going to be for you. You will really absolutely love this. This is amazing, amazing skincare product. Also, I think Beauty of Joshua, they have another thing called the, I think, sleeping mask. But I am not one person that is super, super into sleeping masks. I have one that I'm currently still using and Trilogy Age Proof Overnight Mask. And I still really, really like this. And this is one of the thicker ones. But personally, I feel that if 
it's between a moisturizer and a sleeping mask i generally just gravitate towards moisturizer because it is just more versatile i feel like sleeping mask it gives you like a like a very like rigid feel where you can only use it during the night time you cannot use it during the daytime if you really want to use it so it just makes me feel like it's less flexible i think they kind of sold out of the sleeping mask really so it doesn't matter you should really just try this it's just much more versatile if you really want to use it like a sleeping mask they just put a little bit more like. i mean as what it says it can be used as like a sleeping mask as well okay so the, yeah that's pretty much it for this review i hope you enjoy this video it's just a very short video of me talking about like beauty of yourself product basically so yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye